Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Alaska Rural Homestead. I'm Michelle. I'm out here checking on the plants, and we still have tons of snow on the ground. And it was negative 26 yesterday morning. It's crazy. So we've got a long time to wait before we get anything planted into the high tunnel or out into our garden beds. Uh, but just a quick little update. Our seedlings are coming along. Uh, with it being so cold, I've had to warm it up in here a little bit. Uh, just because they were having a tough time. But I've got plenty of uh, squash and pumpkins going. Uh, I've got a lot of my flowers starting to come up. I've got my tomatoes. And of course, I've got my celery for shed wars. <laughs> so uh, Mark's got his corn going here. Um, Don't forget the watermelons. We've got watermelons going because, you know, Mark is a southern boy, so he's got to have his watermelon. <laughs> so guys, like I said, my husband is a southern boy. He has to have his watermelon going. So here is his little watermelon. These are crimson, crimson sweet little watermelons. They've been going probably about a week or so and they've got to get transplanted into some different pots. And I'm just going back and uh, trimming off the other seedlings because you just want one seedling preferably uh, in your pot. And is what I do is I just take a pair of little scissors and if, uh, if there's two little shoots in the pot, I go ahead and trim it off. And one other thing I do want to mention, if you use these type of pots, make sure that you pre-soak your pots beforehand, before you plant in them, because once you put your soil in there, if you do not pre-soak your little pots here, is what's gonna happen is these little pots are going to wick away the moisture from your soil and your seedlings will be dry. So always try to pre-soak your uh, little pots uh, before you start planting and putting your soil in. I just want to give a little shout out to all those really northern gardeners and the shed warriors uh, that live in all the northern climates. It can be a little challenging uh, starting your seedlings if it's really still really cold out. Say hi, Shrek and Fiona. We had to do a cameo with our Flemish giants. Fiona's going to give birth here, uh, probably uh, Sunday or Monday of next week. So, and that's the grayish one with the big dewlap out in front. We'll show you uh, some video of that. Don't forget to subscribe and watch your channel. Bye now.